first of all i would like to thanks welcome all the ambassadors present today with us it is a privilege and honor for all of us to have the ambassadors with us in a day when we need to know about the nature very well because we are all not only india the whole world is passing through a through a critical situation and india uh, as all of you know that india is passing through not only the corona virus in kolkata in kolkata in bengal we have faced the super cyclone which destroyed uh, the city more than five more than 5000 trees were uprooted and uh, the whole of south of bengal is destroyed orissa also then we had also a uh, cyclone in the coast of bombay in that area also we had the uh, heat zone that is going on uh, in all, all over the uh, north of india so we we uh, we all are facing the uh this uh, problem so this is a time that we think of nature and i welcome you all from all the continents all our guests all our uh, uh today's guest participants bienvenido a todos hoy esta noche noche de la india o mañana de américa latina uh, bienvenido y nosotros estamos muy agradecidos a los embajadores y a nuestros amigos que está aquí de de Argentina, de México, de Guatemala, de El Salvador. Todos y al principio yo voy a, porque ustedes saben que es un quiz. This is a quiz. The quiz will be conducted on Sunday, but today the quiz master Rajiv who is a well-known quiz master in India will have a a sample a mini quiz for today's uh, a mini quiz but before we go for that i would request first the ambassador of argentina daniel chuburu to say something sir your excellency well thank you so much diviajoti uh, and uh, thanks so much for organizing this quiz uh, on the environment which is something so important to all of us and uh, being very close to the international environment day so we are very i'm very proud and very happy of being able to participate in your program let me start by saying that uh, from the environmental perspective I believe that it's one of the only fields from which you can say that the virus the covid-19 has had a positive impact at least during the two months in which we were previously locked down at least we started seeing a lot of advancements in uh, different fields of uh, hello of the environment hello? so hello? i think that that was some positive Hello. development of course Hello. now that everything is uh, going back to normal and everything is uh, restarting things are coming again to where we were but this shows very clearly that it's us with what we do as human beings the ones that are affecting clearly the environment so I think that at least we have to learn from this experience that uh, we have the opportunity of uh, working all of us together and trying to may do a benefit for the rest of uh, the people in this world and allowing them to have a clean environment. Concerning the concerning Argentina, I would like to say just few words on on environment and I will say that we have a national environmental policy bill that establishes the minimum requirements for the achievement of an adequate and sustainable management of the environment the preservation and protection of biological diversity 
at the implementation of sustainable development. There are a lot of, uh, in that law, things that are, are very interesting, but I would like to, to refer to the institutions at the federal level because this is the same at least that happens here in India. And here we have two important institutions. On one side, the Federal Environmental Council, and on second place, the Federal Environmental System. And this is how we coordinate between the national government and the different governments in the provinces, which are the same as the states for you, and the city of Buenos Aires that has a particular uh, status as one more of the provinces of Argentina. In Argentina, we face a lot of challenges concerning the environment and how the it's affecting us. But I would like to refer just briefly on two words. First, to deforestation, that I believe it's something that uh, we share also with India in some parts of the country. And uh, here it's uh, very important, the application of the native forest law, because here is a way to, pr to preserve those forests and to reduce the uh, the curve of deforestation. Second, for us, it's very important sustainable agriculture because being for our country, the, the main sector in, uh, for generating activity, agriculture becomes very important. In this regard, the most important thing that's going on in Argentina is the organic production. We have roughly 3.2 million hectares that have been certified as organic and this represents not only a 12% increase from last year to this year, but also it means that we are the second because, uh, behind Australia in terms of hectares that are being uh, for organic production. Third one is the protection of the sea and the creation of the marine protected areas that uh, we consider that are very important to preserve the marine, the marine uh, environment. And fourthly, it's very important to refer to renewable energies. And here the, I can say that the production of wind and solar energy has known a very important boost in the country with more than 100 and, or almost 160 projects and several of them have already been launched. So clean uh, sources still have Although they have not gained weight within the energy matrix, they are being boosted a lot and they are advancing a lot. So we are very happy on what we are doing in, in all these fields, trying to preserve the environment. So I just wanted to make that, that reference as your, uh, the participants know a little bit of what's going on in Argentina. So thank you so much, Divya Jyoti and congratulations for the initiative. Uh, gra gracias, Embajador. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Next, I would like to invite the Church of the Affairs of El Salvador, Daniel Alexander Guitarres Hernández. Daniel. Can you listen to me? Y yes, da Daniel. Okay, okay. Good evening. Uh, good evening, dear Ambassador Daniel Chubur. My best uh, regards and wishes for you. And uh, also, uh, please allow me to uh, give uh, the special regards to the people here in India that is joining us. And good morning to Latin America and the Caribbean. On behalf of the government and the people of El Salvador, warm regards. I take advantage of this forum to express my deepest sentiments of solidarity and strength to my country, which since last weekend has been severely hit by the tropical storm Amanda and now the tropical storm Cristobal. However, today we are virtually gathered to pay tribute to the earth on which we were born, flourishing 
and managing. Speaking about management, please do not forget the earth is only one and a majority of its resources are limited. We have to live in harmony with the environment. And as individuals, we reflect about our contribution each day to the balance of coexistence. On the other hand, I invite you to participate in this activity for which we have gathered now, taking into account not only we are celebrating the World Environment Day, but also make a particular mention to our countries of Latin America and the Caribbean. In this regard, let's go to learn about culture playing, a highly efficient educational methodology to spread knowledge. Thus, I express a special appreciation to the Indo-Hispanic Language Academy, Professor Di Bellotti, for giving me, uh, for inviting me, and to the quiz master, Mr. Rajiv Sanjal, and the sponsor of this event. My sincere thanks to everyone. Oh, thank you, Daniel. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Muchísimas gracias. Ahora, uh, I request the Ambassador of Mexico, uh, His Excellency Federico Salas. Uh, sir, say something on this occasion. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Professor Di I, I, I always uh, am very pleased to participate in this event that you organize <clears throat> because they all have one very important characteristic, which is that they bring together India with our countries in Latin America. And you're doing a fantastic effort in bridging the long distance that separates uh, our countries. Uh, and, you know, in, in a variety of fields, be it in the literature, uh, and now, as in this case, on the uh, occasion of the World Environment Day. It's, uh, it, it is a privilege to be here with you, and I'm very happy to be sharing this, uh, this screens, I guess, with some colleagues uh, from Latin America, of the diplomatic uh, corp of, of Latin America, from Argentina, Peru, from El Salvador, that I see here. Uh, and of course, there's some friends that are uh, in Mexico and other countries of Latin America. Muchos saludos a todos. Um, I think this is a very important uh, event that you're uh, that we are witnessing here, because you know uh, the Latin American continent is home to some of the <coughs> richest uh, countries in biodiversity. In the case of Mexico specifically, I think we're within the first top five of the of countries with the largest biodiversity in the world. Uh, I think uh, something like ten to twelve percent of the species of the planet, uh, you can find them in the territory of Mexico. And this is something that you can see in many other of the other countries in the, uh, in the Latin American region. Uh, this uh, richness of, of biodiversity, which is something that we're celebrating uh, today. So I'm very happy that this is taking place. India is also, of course, a country where the, the richness of biodiversity is, uh, is quite spectacular. And it's good that we're celebrating that. As the ambassador of Argentina was saying, I think that recently we were able to see that, uh, uh, I think one of the positive aspects of, uh, of this situation that, we've, that we're living through at this point, is that we saw sort of a, uh, a, a spring, literally speaking, of the, of the natural uh, beauties of, of all of our countries and all of our regions. Certainly we saw that here in Delhi, with fantastically blue skies and you could hear birds and see all sorts of new uh, animals, at least uh, walking around here. So it's, uh, uh, it, it was a very interesting experience and it does bring to us the, the, the awareness that we need to be more careful in the protection and the preservation of our environment and of, uh, of this planet that is hosting us temporarily. So, uh, so thank you very much, and I'm sure that this is going to be an interesting 
adventure, uh, th this quiz. I think it's going to be very beneficial for um, everyone that is participating. And congratulations again to you, uh, Professor, for the efforts that you always make to bring our countries together. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ambassador. We are privileged that we are, uh, I think this is the second or third uh, event that we are having with you. We are greatly honored for your presence. Now I request uh, the Ambassador of Peru, uh, His Excellency Carlos Polo. Sir, your, ex your Excellency, sir. I think your microphone is muted, sir. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yes, it was. Yes. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for again for this kind invitation. Um, I would like to first to uh, greeting all my colleagues from here, from Al Ambassador from Argentina, Mexico, and in charge of affairs from Salvador, and our brother from other countries from uh, Latin America. Muy buenas noches. Permítame solo unas breves palabras en español, porque sé que usted, profesor, promueve nuestra lengua por esta, este gran país. Y quiero decirle que soy muy contento de estar acompañándolos en este día que celebramos el Día Internacional del Medio Ambiente. He eh, eh, preparado unas palabras. I will prepare some words, I will speech, a brief that I would like to be as a compliment that already my colleagues have already spoken about this. Uh, we are here no, to celebrate the World Environment Day 2020. At the outset, I would like to thank Professor again, Professor Dubai, for this kind of invitation. Peru participated in this event along representative of other Latin American and Caribbean countries. This is one of the first events we are joined in this new modality of video conferences, which has become became the new normal for all of us amidst the COVID-19 pandemic and in this line of thinking. I wanted to take a moment to say that I truly hope that you and your families are keeping up well in the midst of all these difficult times for the world as a whole. The team that brings us together tonight is the environment, which I am sure you will uh, agree with me, takes a central role of a situation such as the one we are experiencing. Recalling the words of the UN Secretary General, quote, we must ensure that lessons are learned and that this crisis provides a watershed moment for health emergency, preparedness for the investment in critical 21st century public service and the effective delivery of global public goods. We have a framework for action. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. We must keep our promise for the people and the planet. Let me tell you, in Peru, we have the uh, ironclad commitment of this promise. It is only natural that we do so. Peru is one of the 10 countries which greatest by, by biodiversity in the world, which at the same time make us unique rich, while also being particularly vulnerable to the effects of the degradation of the environment. Our flora and our fauna are unique, and the effects of climate change are real threats. In addition, we are aware of the beyond ecosystem. Climate change also represents a stumbling block in fight against poverty, as the people who are most in danger are the ones whose livelihood are most touched by the changes, changes brought about by weather and natural events. Since all this Peru has been an active promoter of decisive action in environment action, you may maybe remember that the 20 cent cent conference of the parties of the United Nations Convention of Climate Change, COP, COP20, was held in Lima in 2014. Peru, were, Peru has an active, active role to help pro pro broker what 
will later become the, the new, the now famous Paris Agreement. Our effort has granted us a recognition that I think is worth highlighting today. In 2018, the United Nations Environment Program, UN Environment, announced that Peru was going to going be the host in Latin America and the Caribbean of World Environment Day. Among other reasons, which I described about UN Environment highlighted that was one of the first nations to join the Clean Sea Campaign, led by said organization. Our former Minister of the Environment, Mrs. Elsa Galarza, underscored that this appointment enabled Peru to include environmental policies at the foreign front of our agenda, in particular policies to reduce the use of plastic. Now, in Peru, as a comment, we have eliminated, like a majority of the country, the use of the plastic bag for all the, the, the uses in markets and any place. It's a common practice now around the world, but Peru was one of the first to do this. To conclude this brief intervention, while thanking Professor Divia again for the kind invitation, I just wanted to highlight that the World Environment Day is celebrated by thousands of communities worldwide and this is a day for everyone around the world to take ownership of their environment and to actively engage in the, pro in the protection of our Earth. We should be engaged and make our best effort to contribute for these noble causes. Thank you for your kind attention and your invitation and the best success in everything today and all the events that you uh, do in the future. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Ambassador. Muchas gracias, Embajador, por asistir y por sus palabras. Now, um, uh, I'm sorry to announce that uh, our friend from Colombia, uh, Senora Carlos Caro Vargas, who is the Directora de la uh, de CESI, CM Department, Universidad Externado de Colombia, could not attend today's session due to some medical emergency, but she will be with us on Sunday. Before the quiz starts, she will deliver her lecture. Now I request uh, from Mexico, uh, Maestra Veronica Valadez, who is the Secretaria de Educación del Estado de Guanajuato, de México. Muy buenas noches para todos ustedes. Buenos días desde México. Eh, es un honor para mí estar con ustedes. Gracias de verdad por la oportunidad. Voy a tratar de eh, leer en inglés algo que espero para que todos lo puedan comprender un poco más. Eh, espero ser correcta, pero eh, sobre todo quiero hacer llegar este mensaje de amistad a todas las personas que están participando el día de hoy. Good morning for Mexico. Good night for India. I welcome greetings for, to all the special West ambassadors attendees to this virtual space on this occasion of the World Environment Day. I'm sure that you will know this phrase. The land provides enough to satisfy the needs of each man, but no the greed of each man, Mahatma Gandhi. How far we have advanced as humanity. We could think how we have transformed, how much we have produced, what great change we have made for today to be here, you sitting a trough of this monitor and feeling really connected thanks to the technology. Like a click, it has allowed us to communicate with us barriers to thousands of kilometers away and, the, and to be so close. Today, in this day, 5, 2020, World Environment Day, we are formulated for what we have and enjoy, but it will be enough to see our window to find ourselves a little desolate because this globalized world and available involved we have not been able to achieve a balance between what satisfies us in a material way and the care of our environment we don't know need to try long distances to understand that we have a sick world which is crying out for us but we don't want to hear a stink space, climate change, 
a third of all these forests have already disappeared. Human activity has altered three quarters of the terrestrial environment and about the 66 of the marine environment. There are only some realities of what is happening, but the world does not stop. It keeps turning and spreads a true change in action and consequence. There are, is no time, no time, nothing, sorry, can stop the deterioration that we have done over the years. A truth, this is still a bright light that can give us hope. And that is to stop our passage and achieve a collective conscience that acts we, with own voice and the same objective. Reflected in the greatness that we have, we must know that natural is value and there are four or the action must be liked to caring for the environment and respecting it. We know that all environment makeups of the feel happy. It generic will be a better quality of life. In my beloved Mexico especially, specifically, I can tell you that we find most all the climates of the planet and the flora and fauna that result from it as well as topography and geology. We have practically an existing terrestrial ecosystem. Mexico, according to the National Commission for the Knowledge and Use of the Biodiversity, is a part of the 12 countries that there are considered mega diverse. Consider that a country is mega diverse when they have lost five thousand endemic plant species of um, well and special diversity ecosystem including the presence of the marine ecosystem and tropical forest according to the international conservative to the international conservative organization there are 12 mega diverse countries mexico colombia ecuador peru brazil china india malasia Asia. indonesia and australia that are five other countries join us Nueva Guinea, Sudáfrica, Estados Unidos, Filipinas, Venezuela y el Congo. This factor likes use the case of Mexico and India, but it does not mean that only these countries that must to worry about the taking a care of the environment and biodiversity. Each of is the part more of the uh, each of is the uh, part change that must not to broken and that it must be strengthened with the, the bond of commitment, solidarity and respect for all gifts used all the time. Yesterday, I heard a shocking news, which certainly in your country you know maybe very well. The case of the elephant Kerala, who sadly has very sad, but that is just one example of the happens every day in every part of the world. In my country, there are also endangered, special, and minority groups that put all of effort to take care of them, and many others that don't, don't do anything about it. I wonder when we will be all of join, or when when do we want to protect all the world, and I want that this happen. Experts have been warning for decades that it increases consumption or resource, and they respect consequence for this planet. It's not compatible with this conservation of diversity. How much more time we have to pass to make a change? Today's need is this health contingency of COVID-19. We are passing ourselves. We are seeing how the environment is no longer protects us because we have transformed it. We have done something wrong and the consequences that are there. Today, that we are yeah. confined at home is when it's most, uh, most valued to go out and see the world and enjoy it. Enjoy the flowers, enjoy the animals, the rivers, the sea, everything that the earth give us for free. Today being between world for more than three months to about getting infected. We know that the, there are, is no better quality of life than the sun, than warmth of us, the rain that with us and the forest that give us clean our two lives.
between Mexico and India, there are more than 20, uh, uh, 15,000 kilometers of distance. But today, World Environment Day, we are connected and only attract the technology. Or, or nuestra cultura, sorry, and friendships is a ancient legacy. Our traditions and values have united us for many years. So let's go. That's a conscience and love for all land. Is this call of life that is a human begins need to give new opportunities to the future generations. Rabindranath Tagore, his great poet and Nobel Prize to Little Side, turn a tree into five walls, and this will bore you, but it will not produce flowers or fruit for your children. We can think that the needs are only what we have today. We are a whole, we are a vibrant heart that is, we can uh, to continue visiting, we, we must to take care of it and protect it. Let us live to, for tomorrow what is the heart ask us today. Let us the love of the world, let's to be, to treat life that general change and transform it that move and about the all transcendent. Thank you very much for all, thank you. Um, sorry, if I, I hope that can be uh, understand me. Eh, muchísimas gracias a todos, es un placer parte de este evento y todo mi cariño y amistad sincero desde Guanajuato, México. Gracias, gracias Verónica, muchas gracias. Uh, ahora invito de Guatemala, nuestra amiga, uh, ella como profesora, visito Calcuta por la Feria Internacional del Libro, del, cuando uh, uh, Guatemala fue el país invitado. So, Gladys. Buenos días para Latinoamérica y buenas noches para India. Um, yo creo que voy a hablar mejor en español porque mi inglés es un poquito... No, es, me siento segura. <ríe> Entonces, mejor en español. <ríe> voy a hablar despacio para que me entiendan. <ríe> um, bueno, es un placer de verdad estar aquí con ustedes. Gracias, profesor, por la invitación. Y es un gusto convivir y hablar acerca del ambiente y la biodiversidad, todo lo que está pasando ahorita en el mundo, ¿verdad? Todas las consecuencias que está pasando con el ambiente, ¿verdad? Con el ambiente en general y lo que nos está afectando esta pandemia, ¿verdad? Esto es mundial. Eh, ahorita tenemos como parte de la Universidad de San Carlos en, en varias de, de las acciones que se han hecho para prevenir esta pandemia, eh, se hizo como un pequeño eslogan que dice nada, bueno, nadie se queda atrás, todos pertenecemos a un todo, ¿verdad? Si yo me cuido, yo te cuido de que todos pertenecemos a un solo ambiente, ¿verdad? Eh, con esto del distanciamiento social que tenemos que tener por la enfermedad del COVID, eh, el lavado constante de manos, se ha, ha visto eh, antes de que estuviera... Eh, en varios lugares de, de Guatemala, en varios eh, distritos, diríamos, ¿verdad?, departamentos hemos eh, dejado ya no ya no se usan bolsas de plástico ya no las ya no se utilizan eh, deforestación porque han estado cortando muchos árboles ya la ley en este sentido ha estado como un poquito más más fuerte para que si corta un árbol tiene que sembrar cinco entonces así como que que ir dándole eh, vida a lo, a lo nuestro, ¿verdad? Guatemala es uno de los países centroamericanos. Eh, muy, a mí me gusta explicar como que es un pequeño mundo, porque tenemos lugares muy calurosos y lugares muy fríos. Es, es una diversidad de ambiente. Es, es rico en naturaleza, 
en fauna, flora, y tiene muchos árboles, decía el profesor cuando vino a Guatemala, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y sí, tenemos muchos árboles. Eh, de ahí una gran cantidad de, de especies de árboles que gracias a Dios se están cuidando, ¿verdad? Eh, crear esa conciencia en, en decir, <coughs> eh, empiezo a cambiar por mí. Es, es una cuestión como, como muy, muy analítica que se ha estado trabajando estos últimos, estas últimas semanas, este, este principio de año, ¿verdad? Desde que declararon acá en Guatemala que, que iban a suspender todas las actividades, que fue el 13 de marzo, cuando se detectó el primer caso de COVID, la Universidad de San Carlos dijo, paramos actividades, vamos a, a retomar todo vía online, vía internet, ¿verdad? Para evitar la con, conglomeración para el montón de gente, porque la Universidad de Guatemala, la San Carlos Universidad de Guatemala, es, es nacional y cuenta con la mayor cantidad de estudiantes a nivel nacional, ¿verdad? Y asimismo, dijeron las otras universidades privadas que suspendían actividades presenciales, que únicamente iba a ser todo vía internet. De hecho, ahorita ya están las actividades de las graduaciones, las graduaciones a nivel universitario, eh, vía internet y vía online, ¿verdad? Sé que es un poquito, a varios no les gusta por la, por la actividad, pero queremos prevenir, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, algo que se ha estado como impulsando bastante en, en el pueblo de Guatemala es cuídate para que me cuides. Me cuido para cuidarte, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, Así es como hemos venido como manejando toda esa situación. Eh, tener, tener esa conciencia, ¿verdad? De, de cómo compartir con el otro. Entonces, ya les, les conté un poquito más del panorama de Guatemala, ¿verdad? Y cómo estamos viviendo la pandemia. Eh, sí hay el gobierno, pues gracias a Dios colocó algunos, eh, varios hospitales provisionales, los cuales ya están, ahí están haciéndose, uh, haciendo uso, ¿verdad? Y, y vamos poco a poco. Y esperamos en Dios de, en, en que esto se va a acabar. Así como vino, así se va a ir. Pero necesitamos que todos tengamos la conciencia de cuidarnos, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es como lo estamos manejando acá en, en Guatemala. Muchas gracias por la invitación, profesor, y qué gusto verles a todos. Es un gran honor estar acá. Gra gra gracias, Gladys. Thank you very much. Now I will go to our friend from Mexico, uh, Omar Avalos. Uh, le contó que Omar, I met Omar in Mexico City, and we had an event uh, with the National Museum of Cultures in Mexico City. And we had an exhibition uh, of uh, paintings of Rostros Compartidos, se llama 50 Faces of Indian Faces and 50 uh, Mexican Faces. We had an exhibition, we had a dance program, and Omar was a, was a part of that program. Omar nos ayudó mucho. Uh, their dance group came and danced the original folk dance of Mexico. And, a lot of Indians who are in Mexico and Mexican, they had a Indian dance, that so-called Bollywood dance. So we had a two-day event there. And gracias a Omar por, para estar con nosotros en, en el evento de, de la Ciudad de México. Uh, ahora invito a Omar. Uh, uh, he is the president. Uh, él es el presidente de Biodiversidad y Desarrollo Sostenible de México. Omar. Muchas gracias. Antes que nada, gracias por la invitación. Es un honor para mí estar aquí. Es un placer ver lo que la conjunción de voluntades puede realizar. En este sentido, como bien lo mencionaba, Dip, es eh, el esfuerzo conjunto de todos estos participantes en esas reuniones de tantos países que hace posible 
que se realicen actividades, ¿no? En general, él habla del festival que se realizó en diciembre, en el cual tuvimos el privilegio de participar con la Escuela de Bellas Artes de Jilotepec, con los artistas locales, todos son eh, estudiantes de, de México, y se abrió una oportunidad para realizar esta, este evento binacional, y eh, hasta la fecha seguimos muy, muy agradecidos, agradecidos por esta invitación. Es importante eh, recalcar que en el marco del Día Mundial del Medio Ambiente, eh, esto que estamos realizando en conjunto es lo que tenemos que seguir realizando de ahora en adelante, ¿no? Que esto nos ha enseñado y hemos aprendido de esta crisis, que muchas veces creemos que estamos preparados para, para todo lo que viene y de repente nos damos cuenta de lo, de lo humano y nos damos cuenta de nuestra mortalidad y nos vuelve a poner los, eh, los pies en la tierra. Esta cultura que hemos creado a raíz del consumismo, que ha estado devastando nuestros bosques, que ha estado acabando con nuestra biodiversidad, es lo que nos despierta. A veces el mundo necesita sacudirse, eh, despertarnos para que nos espabilemos y nos demos cuenta de que siempre que tengamos un problema, una crisis, hay que regresar a lo más básico. Y lo más básico es entender que tenemos que respetar el planeta en el que vivimos, que es el único que tenemos, que los recursos son finitos, que somos una gran esfera en la cual todo se queda aquí, ¿no? no nada desaparece, nada se pierde, lo transformamos, ¿no? Por esa entropía que maneja el, el planeta y que a veces parece que es más importante tener acceso a lo que podamos consumir, a lo que podamos comprar, de lo que tenemos este, alrededor de nosotros. Eh, en el caso particular de México, lo, como lo ha mencionado el, el embajador en su participación, la secretaria de, de Educación de Guanajuato, es un país megadiverso junto con la India. Eh, este año se celebran, me parece, 190 años de la relación México y la India. Y somos, aunque parecen culturas muy distintas, tenemos cosas en comunes. Mm, uno de ellos, por ejemplo, es el mito de la, de la China poblana. De ahí el... En el Festival Atma presentábamos la, la danza porque se tiene el conocimiento de que la China poblana era una habitante de la India que vivía en la ciudad de Puebla y sus atavios dieron origen al, al baile, este, digo, al traje, perdón, tradicional. Así de cercana está la, la relación entre la India, aunque parezca lejana. Y otra cosa muy importante, lo, la bio la biocultura que existe en los dos países, ¿no? Los pueblos indígenas, tanto de la India, en este caso, de mis compañeros de Guatemala, de El Salvador, de Perú, que eh, tenemos eh, eh, raíces étnicas muy fuertes, eh, son en común eh, una cultura arraigada al maíz, una cultura arraigada a la naturaleza, y que los pueblos indígenas nos han enseñado que es posible eh, no nada más tener una biodiversidad, sino también tener una una biodiversidad, por así llamarlo, es la forma de consumir los productos y generar nuestros alimentos sin tener un impacto tan radical en el medio ambiente, porque parece que ahora lo que se trata es de consumir, 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 y nos estamos sacando los recursos que, que tenemos. Eh, es muy importante también recalcar que esta palabra de sostenibilidad y los objetivos que se han de derivado a raíz de la Agenda 2030 es tratar de globalizar el cuidado del medio ambiente, tratar de globalizar la importancia que tiene el consumo responsable, el consumo racional de todos los recursos, porque son finitos y lo tenemos que, que entender así. Estamos a tiempo, ¿no? Estamos a tiempo de lograr ese cambio que el gobierno se, se inmiscuya. Hoy en México, por ejemplo, eh, amanecimos con la triste noticia de que hubo un recorte al presupuesto de las áreas naturales protegidas, ¿no? que de por sí es un, una política pública que ha sido difícil llevar a cabo porque nunca es el recurso suficiente, pues con estos recortes todavía se pone un poco más. Y tenemos otras noticias, por ejemplo, como el, los programas que hace la Comisión Nacional de la Biodiversidad en el caso de México, que son exitosos y que mucho de esto, del éxito de estos programas es de la unión entre el gobierno y, y el, la población, ¿no? No todo es culpa del gobierno, todos consumimos, todos somos generadores, pero precisamente eso es lo que necesitamos hacer 
esa conjunción de todas las voluntades, tanto del pueblo, de gobierno, y en este caso, en eventos como este de todos los países, que a pesar de las diferencias culturales, de, de, a pesar de las diferencias étnicas, e incluso lingüísticas, ¿no? en, el, en el idioma que, que tenemos, todos vemos que el medio ambiente es lo más importante porque aquí vivimos, aquí nos desarrollamos, aquí nos desenvolvemos. Y si no logramos entender eso, ahora que estamos a tiempo, eh, tal vez mañana sea muy tarde, ¿no? Darle importancia, sí, a las tecnologías verdes, a las energías verdes, pero antes de llegar a eso, yo creo que es importante valorar lo que tenemos ahorita, eh, hacer una retrospectiva y una introspectiva de lo que queremos, de lo que queremos y a dónde queremos llegar como como seres humanos, a, a costa de qué vamos a tener un teléfono, a costa de qué vamos a tener una computadora, y que volteemos a ver al consumo local, que se vea la, la, la importancia de mantener nuestras áreas verdes, de que no nos acabemos los bosques como está pasando en, en muchos lugares de México, eh, de manera irracional, pero que también reconozcamos el esfuerzo de las políticas públicas que se han realizado. Entonces, yo estoy muy agradecido por la invitación. Es un honor para mí que el, el municipio de Gilotepec, donde, donde yo vivo, tenga la oportunidad de salir en este tipo de, de eventos, de dar a conocer que México, al ser un país, es un país mega diverso por la, eh, la zona en la que se encuentra. Somos, estamos a la mitad exactamente de la zona neártica y de, del la zona neotropical, que tenemos esa, esa biodiversidad, se da por este cambio que tenemos en los ecosistemas, que nos hace tener esos tipos de flora y de fauna tan diversos en, en una zona tan pequeña. Entonces, que lo reconozcamos, que le, damos, le demos el valor que, que merece, que las empresas, que el gobierno y que la población nos hagamos responsables y que más que un, este, un festejo sea un evento de concientización de lo que tenemos que realizar, y que es, actividades como esta pues se sigan dando, ¿no? Porque es la única forma en la que vamos a dar a, a conocer al mundo lo que, lo que queremos y a dónde queremos llegar. Porque somos, a veces parece que somos poquitos los que se dedican al medio ambiente, pero cuando nos empezamos a juntar nos damos cuenta que hay muchas voluntades, ¿no? Y que se pueden realizar grandes cosas. Eh, hay una frase que puede parecer trillada de que solo se conserva lo que se ama, pero solo se ama lo que se conoce. Entonces, eventos como este dan a, dan a conocer lo que tenemos y el que conozcamos nos hace eh, ser empáticos con eso y quererlo y amarlo y respetarlo. Entonces, muchas gracias, profesor Díaz, muchas gracias a todos. Es un honor para mí compartir un espacio como este con los embajadores, con los directores, con los secretarios de Estado. Es un honor de verdad y pues nadie hará más por este mundo que los que aquí vivimos. Entonces, hay que ponernos este, todos juntos a a echarle ganas y a salir avante con esto. Gracias, profesor. Uh, gracias, Omar. Muchas gracias. Uh, now I would like to invite, I don't know, uh, from our friend from Costa Rica, Javier de la Teja, who is working with us for a long time, for the four or five years, in the field of education, in a lot of fields we are working together. And he is, he is uh, uh, company is also a part of this uh, program. Javier, ¿estás aquí? Okay, he was there, there, but now I cannot see him. Javier? No. I think there's a with problem of internet. Now, uh, our another uh, part of our program is a small association called Arcoiris, which is the, the rainbow, is an organization of the students of our institute. And the students, past and present, uh, in order to build a bridge between India and the Hispanic countries with Spain and Latin America, they are working in the field of audiovisual materials, in the field of drama, uh, songs, every field. So I request uh, the, the lady who is uh, coordinating the whole program, Shopto Mighosh, to speak. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, am I audible? Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Uh, buenos dias uh, in Latin America. Buenas uh, tardes para India. Uh, as 
we are celebrating and world environmental day uh, let us introduce ourselves like sir said we are a small group it is uh, not uh, not uh, only the indian students uh, our friends from latin america and spain are also like they are giving our uh, giving their hand to represent india in spanish as well as the latin american part to uh, break the barrier of language and to come together as a unit unified body so um in the event of arcoiris uh, in the event of uh, wo uh, world environmental day we will be celebrating a week long uh, celebration it's like uh, we will bring as latin american countries and spain are the greatest biodiversified countries and india also we will be bringing photos and uh, nana, uh, various stories and uh, small questions from various part of the world in order to uh, connect ourselves like gladys our friend uh, said that we have to take care of the nature so that the nature could take care of us uh, that is the motto of our celebration also so that as a unified body uh, as a as whole india and the latin american countries as well as spain we can act together to take care of our nature and to uh, make the world beautiful again as in the hand of nature we are very uh, the uh, human are as we can see in this pandemic situation so that so as arcoiris uh, we want to connect latin america Uh, the uh, hispanic world with india uh, together we can solve to make a beautiful uh, world again thank you sir uh thank you and here also we have one of our friend who are supporting us a lot from spain who is from the a professor of the university of girona uh, professor emily pui for a long time emily is supporting us helping the students not only to develop their language skill but also the writing skill and all others uh emily bienvenido okay emily you are mu muted mute tu estás yes. en silencio yeah yes yes okay yeah. Bienvenido. Uh, buenas, buenas tardes. Es un privilegio para mí participar en el Día del Medio Ambiente y poder oír un poco experiencias de países de, de América, de, de Sudamérica, de India. Es un privilegio para mí. Um, como decía el profesor Di Villagiotti, yo vivo en Girona, cerca de Barcelona, y es un orgullo estar conectado con el mundo gracias al sistema online. Uh, it's a privilege for me to participate in this event in the International Environmental Day. It's a privilege to know what happened about the environmental situation in the South American countries and uh, it's very important because if you if you know what happened it's possible to do uh, new things to do change in uh, the daily life thank you very much y uh, muchas gracias profesor de Villagioti por organizar esos eventos constantemente y y con mucho empeño adelante Gracias, Emily. Now I would like one of our uh, partner organization, uh, Mr. Jitin Vijayan, who has joined us from Kerala, who is the founder and student convener of the Mistrik Ecological Fiesta. He is uh, equally involved in this project, and uh, we hope that we will be doing a lot of more things with the mscs and with the other organizations to bring india closer uh, to the hispanic world jitin thank you sir thank you divya jyoti sir uh, we are
extremely happy to be a part of this uh, international program and uh, i would like to uh, i would like to present my uh, happiness and my convey cut to convey my regards to all of the ambassadors from different 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 latin american countries and i hope that we can do more collaborations and programs for a sustainable environment in the future so uh, in this moment i would like to uh, uh, quickly introduce what we are doing and about our uh, event so medistica is the, uh, is an ecological fiesta and it is the kerala's biggest student ecological festival uh, we mainly promote uh, discussions among environmentally students and the public uh, we have organized uh, four editions of big quiz and uh, entertainment shows and entertainment shows film festival debates discussions and uh, so mainly uh, we are dealing with um, and the theme of biodiversity and uh, the awareness what we can do with the public and especially student and youth groups uh, uh, so uh, this entire event started as a simple student group and then it transformed to the state level program and now uh, we have participation from more than 78 institutions and 13 out of 14 districts of our states and this is uh, the entire event is uh, collaborated by Faru College Calicut and Malabar Natural History Society. Uh, and uh, we have done a lot of outreach and education programs uh, related to our main event. Uh, currently, uh, we are developing a framework for environmental communication initiatives and continuing our effort towards achieving our other goals and in this special day of environment world environment day uh, uh, i i am hoping that this kind of collaborations will bring up more uh, sustainable uh, programs and as as an international event we can uh, collaborate more things and plan uh, plan for some initiatives which we which we will help uh, all the people to understand the value of biodiversity and come together for a bright future. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. Uh, thank, thank you very much, Jitin. Before, Before we, we go, go to the our quiz master, um, Rajiv, I would like to introduce you to you. Another uh, pillar of our activity is from the Dakshin Dinajpur District Quiz Association. They, they are from a part of West Bengal. Uh, Shaurab Ghosh, who who is equally involved, equally uh, uh, attached to this event. Shaurab. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity. Sir, we are from Dakshin Dinajpur District with Association. We are newly formed organization. We have been building the association for a long time in an effort to bring all the quizzers in our district as well as in our country together we do lot of quizzes in our we are sorry sir we do a lot of quizzes through the year we also organize quizzes on special days last year we also did many quizzes on the environment day and saplings given as prizes sir we all know that we are going through now but it is really very good to the environment in my view because the environment is fixing itself and this time the theme of UNEP is truly appropriate time for nature we are really giving time to the environment from home so but our main goal is to make students aware of everything that is happening around the world because we think that only students can make our world more beautiful and we will take a few names for all these activities of our Mr. Basudev Choudhury, President of our Association, Mr. Shambit Phoni, Vice President and Mr. Prantik Talukdar, our Secretary and I would like to thank Mr. Rajiv Shannal sir and Mr. Dibba Jyoti Mukherjee sir for considering us worthy of providing technical support Thanks to all of you, sir. That's all. Thank, thank, thank you, you Shaurav. 
Now, Jitin, to introduce our quiz master, Rajiv. It's, huh, it's my pleasure to introduce our quiz master. Uh, I'm inviting our quiz guru, Mr. Rajiv Sanyal. He is one of the country's leading quiz masters. He has hosted more than 2,000 quiz shows during the last two decades. This includes more than 300 shows for Duradarshan Broadcasting Television Network and various departments of Government of India and organizations like Wildlife Trust of India, ICC, and numerous other schools, colleges, etc. I welcome Mr. Rajiv Sanyal to this grand occasion along with the Dakshin Dinajpur District Quiz Association to conduct the quiz and over to you, sir. Thank you. No, Rajiv. <laughs> I'll start with Machos Gracias. Uh, this is a huge privilege. Uh, I don't know where to begin with, but let me start with Rabindranath Tagore. We said, Rudra Tumar Darunudi Ti Yeshe Chidu Arubhidiya Bokhe Beje Chibiddu Tumhan Shopner Jal Chidiya. In fact, uh, we talk about Purna Madan, Purna Midan, Purna Purna Mudachate. And we talk about Vasudaiva Kutumbaka. That means, loosely translated, the entire globe is one family. I'd like to thank, acknowledge my gratitude to Dr. Dibo Jyoti Mukhopadhyay, sir. He's a doyen. And the way in 72 hours, the way you have organized people from all the continents, this is incredible. Thank you, sir. Salute to you, sir. I thank you, uh, before going into the quiz, uh, just two or three words. We'll have a full-fledged quiz, but how many uh, for the last 32 years? Well, I had the opportunity to conduct more than 3,500 quizzes for Durdashan, and uh, we have also amongst us Dr. K. Kishore. He is uh, the one of the leading brains of that Faru College. And welcome to you, sir. We also have amongst us Mr. Sogata Mahinder. He is the environment manager, and uh, he is there with us. We have. Uh, uh, Apola Chakraborty and Joseph Jimenez. But also I'd like to uh, acknowledge my gratitude to his, his Excellency Chuburu, Daniel Chuburu, uh, Embassy of Argentina and all the other people, great personalities. Uh, with your kind permission, we'll try to uh, conduct the quiz, but this is only a trailer. This is not the real quiz, but uh, it's not about how much we know or not, but the world is a beautiful place. And we sing in praise. I would like to acknowledge my uh, gratitude to Shodav and team, Dukhin Dinashpur, they are providing me the support. So I I think, sir, we, we, we can directly go into the quiz. Yes, 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 we can. And, and let me try whether it's happening okay or not. Shodav, I'm sharing the screen. If there is a... <laughs> so, so, so I go and I share the screen. The screen sharing is happening. And uh, is, is it visible now? Yes. Okay. It's and visible. the sound, what about the, what about the, okay. Is the sound visible? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. You can hear the sound. Yes. Okay. Which sound? Ah, I'm talking about the slight sound, yes. So, how to do that? How can we do that? Acha. I'll stop sharing, okay? Just give it to me, huh? Yes, now? I'll share again. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Then? Acha. Share computer sound. Okay. Now, let me see. Um, okay. Can you hear now? The, the audio is not there. Okay, okay. I, I'm trying once again. So the technology has brought us together. Share computer sound. Share. It's okay. Now let me check out. Um, is audible now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Sound is coming, sir. Okay, sir. Good morning. Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the World Environment Day 2020 in Latin America. Biodiversity, the America, Latina. This is your friend Rajiv uh, welcoming you all to this wonderful show. So we are going to the first question of the quiz. 
Now more than ever, we are confronted with the fragility of life in our connection to nature and our planet. Nature is showing us that humankind is on the verge of a breakdown. At least one million plant and animal species are likely to disappear soon. We are on the verge of a mass extinction unlike anything humankind has ever seen. We rely on nature for our energy, for our food, and everything we need. We can fix this, but only if we act now. It's time to ensure we have a future. It's time for nature. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. This World Environment Day. This World Environment Day. Tell the world why it's time for nature. It's time to show our leaders why nature matters. Together or apart. Juntos o separados. Riadam ili na rastayanim. We will unite to make our voices heard. We won't back down. We will not back down. So we see it real and loud. So here comes the first question of today's quiz. And we have amongst us... Uh, his Excellency Daniel <laughs> Chuburu, Ambassador <laughs> of Argentina. So, <laughs> uh, this question is dedicated to Argentina. Identify one of the most anticipated of all the Argentinian animals that breeds in this region, which arrives into the Golfo Nuevo Bay from May to cow when nurse its young. This species remains in the waters of the coast of the peninsula until December. More than one lakh visitors arrive to watch this grandest of spectacle identify this beautiful marine species. That is the question. Did anybody I, did, ask? I don't understand which is the question, but those are the whales in Peninsula Valdez. <laughs> uh, His Excellency, sir, thank you so much. It's a brilliant answer. Can we all put our hands together? Can we clap? Yes. I'll show you the answer. Here comes the answer. The southern right well. The southern right well. And I believe, sir, His Excellency, when we are when we are going uh, with your hospitality, I think uh, we can go and visit this. Okay, so that was question number one. We'll have 12 questions. I hope I'm loud and clear. Question number two coming up. in the jungles of Costa Rica. Speed is everything for the basilisk lizard. When you prey on winged insects, you need to be quick because your prey moves fast, really fast. So when the basilisk is in a hurry, it displays one of the most spectacular capabilities in nature. A true superpower. This flat-footed reptile is so fast and so light that it can run across the surface of the water at speeds as much as five feet per second. But speed alone doesn't make this superpower possible. Long toes on their rear feet, along with fringes of skin that unfurl to meet the water, create little air pockets under the lizard's feet, and the air pockets give the lizard lift. A true superpower in nature. Well, nature is a superpower. The flora and the fauna and the biodiversity, believe me, these, these little people are much more beautiful than us. Probably, sorry, humans are the most ugliest of uh, the species. So my question is, uh, you have already seen that this is the name, the basilisk, but this has a divine name. So if you, I can give you a hint, the hint is this basilisk, basilisk walks on water. So what is the divine name or the common name we know uh, this, uh, this particular species as? Anybody trying to answer? 
the hint is this walks on water i know the answer <coughs> yes sir please uh, sir. we called it a uh, jesus christ uh, lizard and his name is basilisco a uh, scientific name is basilisco plumiferens what an answer basilisco plumiferens uh, and jesus christ so in this moment of crisis we pray to jesus christ we pray to allah we pray to lord jagannath because today is the snani yatra and it's a privilege sir for giving me the opportunity so it is known as the jesus christ lizard with an absolutely magical answer it is a one impressive reptile which feeds on winged insect in the jungles of costa rica going to next question speed question number 3 well <laughs> This is the coat of arms of the beautiful country. Name the country and identify the bird and the snake. This is the coat of arms of one of the many beautiful countries in Latin America and we are so privileged it's from my country. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is from your country. Okay sir. It's, uh... So it <laughs> <laughs> uh, the name is a uh, black tail rattlesnake or crotalus molossus nigrescens it's yeah. the rattlesnake plasmid in our national flag yeah. and is his esta sido comida i can say that by uh, aguila real um, real uh, eagle yeah uh, Omar Avalos, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I think the little or little the junior most uh, attending also oh. want to say. Yeah, please, please. So, yeah. I, I say that the country. Uh, I say that the country is a uh, United States of America. Oh. Estados Unidos, and it is the rattlesnake and the bald eagle. No, it is Mexico. It is, it is Mexico. Oh it is uh, Estados Unidos Mexicanos. Sir, am I right? If I'm pronouncing, it, I don't know. Estados yes. Unidos Mexicanos. See, sí. Mexicanos. Okay. And so that is the answer. So uh, thank you, Mr. Omar. This that was dedicated to you. So fourteenth, we are having a magical quiz. Thank you so much, sir, for bringing in. Next question. Well, this is another beautiful uh, scientific name is Dioptria folgia. Dioptria folgia. But what common name this species is known? And also the name of the native or endemic country. Don't know to need the answer because um, if you can see the if you can see the. Uh, a beautiful insect you can guess and give the answer well very carefully look at the insect such yes who is answering the little one is answering i believe yeah yeah i am going for the monarch butterfly beta it is not the monarch but you know the monarch butterfly that is fantastic put your hands together but because he <laughs> knows monarch it is not monarch but i am telling you carefully look at the butterfly you can see something and we know the butterfly by that name yes over sir yes over sir yes i don't know but the she have a number in his wing yeah yes uh, 89 <laughs> butterfly yeah i don't know <laughs> it is indeed it is 8998 butterfly it is 80 89 uh, and 98 butterfly and uh, yeah and this is a uh, this is from uh, the endemic from colombia and colombia is the theme country for this year's world environment show and uh, here is the answer here is the answer and uh, with over 1600 known species colombia is one of the most beautiful butterfly diverse countries in the world and all these countries we have participated are beautiful countries today and thank you sir this is the question i hope 
I can go to the next question. Sir, can I go to the next question? Yes, sure. Sure. Okay. Tu faire attention, senor. Tu n'as pas peur du bon vieux capitaine Haddock qui est ça à mille millions de mille sabards. Venez, capitaine. Je crois qu'il est temps de rentrer à l'hôtel. Quand même, approchez, senor. Ah oh, non, c'est pas vrai, encore ces bougres de jet d'eau en coulant. La madre est douce, senor. Avoir peur, avoir peur. Avoir peur, moi Honor, um, uh, you know. Uh, Anybody trying to answer? Yes. Uh, okay. Anybody trying? Anybody yeah, trying? It's llama. It's llama. It's llama. It's llama. It is llama. Put your hands together. And uh, Dimojyoti sir, I think uh, we should arrange for a little prize for this. <laughs> Yeah. This dynamic James yeah. Slama, and the, the, name, and the name of the and the name of yeah. yeah, and the country. Do you know the country from which country? From which country? The, the comic or the or the or the, the animal. The animal. The animal. The animal here. Peru. Peru. Peru is a beautiful country. The Machu Picchu, the land of the sun. Ehi Surya. Shahasrang Shutej Rashi Jagatapate. Anugampayo Mangbhakta Riyanar Gandhi Bhagara. The land of the sun, the land of the Incas, uh, we salute uh, uh, the Peru. So, that is the answer. The prisoners of the sun. Okay. So, we'll go to the next question. This question is dedicated to somebody very close to my heart. Diago Armando Maradona, my childhood hero. Lionel Messi, my manhood hero. I love you, Argentina. The best on planet Earth. Oh, Lord, he is a genius. Strong challenge, chasing the bits and pieces. Lionel Messi, three in his way. Up through the legs, nutmegs, backflicks. I love all the Latin American countries. What? Messi. What? No. My childhood romance with Argentina is because of Diego Armando Maradona. In 86, I watched Maradona and now I watch Messi. But my question is, the pass that Messi played within the legs, it is the seed or ground spice of several species of the genus Myristica. It is Guatemala and Indonesia combined produces 68% of the world supply of eggs. What am I talking about? It's a biodiversity quiz. Anybody understood the question? Lionel Messi was hitting the ball through the legs. Messi was hitting the ball through the legs. Okay. Now, this English term is the term of a ground spice of several genus, Myristica, Guatemala, and, and there is a picture you can see to the left. This is the species. So, what am I talking about? Anybody trying to give an answer, please? Sir, it's cardamom. Sir, it is not cardamom. Good try. Is it nutmeg? Is it nutmeg? Nutmeg is a brilliant nutmeg. answer. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nutmeg. It is nutmeg. 
Latin America by the Smithy. Okay, so the quiz hosted by uh, Indo Hispanic uh, Language Academy, and uh, we are absolutely privileged to be here. And today, this Is program, yes, absolutely, sir. So that was Lionel Messi. We'll go to the next question. Next question coming up. This is Marine Luana of the Galapagos Island. is very famous because uh, origin of the species by means of natural selection the book was written and uh, it is now that my question is which wonderful another beautiful country is a, or that country's part is the galapagos island yes please yes please Ecuador. It is the uh, Galapagos Island belongs to Ecuador. Sir, I think we should take this uh, little genius to Ecuador first. Indeed, it is Ecuador. So my tribute to Ecuador with this question. Spring Bank, Galapagos Islands, Ecuador. You are with your friend, Swiss Master Rajiv, this evening, this morning. I hope uh, you're all enjoying it, ladies and gentlemen. Next question coming up. Next question coming up. Another beautiful question. The X is sometimes called the Y beetle. Because if you, if you look at the beetle, you can make a guess is probably the most jaw-droppingly amazing bug of Costa Rica. So, the Costa Rican gentleman who is here, Your Excellency, you are here, is tribute to you. These impressive insects live in low-lying rainforest and visitors can often see them in Tortugeno National Park, Cano Negro Wildlife Refuge. So, this is sometimes called the uh, Y or the X beetle. What am I talking about? You can look at the beetle, it has a name. Yes, little genius. The beetle looks like something. Bolo. Take a guess. Anybody? What beetle? Elephant beetle. Is it a rhinoceros beetle? Oh, Adila and Soda. It is both called the rhinoceros beetle and the elephant beetle. Put your hands together. What an answer! So, so, is it the question? Rhinoceros? Yes, both, both. That is. Uh, are you enjoying the quiz? Is it? Is it okay? Are you enjoying? Yes, it? sir. Yes, sir. And uh, everybody, the excellencies, Daniel, sir. His Excellency, are you enjoying the quiz, sir? It's okay? Okay. Next question coming up. That was question number nine. Now coming up. Salvador and Nicaragua. National Bard of El Salvador and Nicaragua. Name the bird. The local name will do. It's the biodiversity quiz. <laughs> so, yes, please. Yes, yes, Daniel, sir. Yeah. For me, it's too easy, but I will give the opportunity to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> It's my privilege, sir. And Dibajuri, uh, sir, thank you so much for making this happen. I mean, this is incredible. Great personality, sir. Yeah. But it's about what more? Absolutely. Who says that? Kanai says Kanai, that. Kanai, sir. 
Hi, yes, sir. It's a brilliant answer. Absolutely brilliant answer. This is known no, as Toro Gos. Yeah, Toro Toro Gos or Toro Toro Gos Brown. Okay, Toro Gos or uh, Brown Mot Mot is the answer. So, so if you allow me, I can I can wait a little bit more about this marvelous please, bird. Please, uh, please. This bird uh, indeed are two species. In my country, it's our national beer, and it's two species. The difference of these two species are the colors. One is Talapo, and another one is Torogos. But the colors are the, are the difference between them. Your Excellency, thank you so much, sir. I mean, uh, that you are participating here is such a privilege. Thank you so much. So, three more questions left. Uh, we go to the next question. Las vacas, pero siempre tenemos una sola especie que es el tres martos ornados. Ya no hay una población determinada. Pero para Sudamérica se cree que hay una población de 8 a 16 mil. Pero esto solamente es una especulación. Porque es una institución vulnerable y es endémica, importante. Las vacas, pero siempre tenemos una sola especie que es el tres martos ornados. Ya no hay una población determinada. Pero para Sudamérica se cree que hay una población de 8 a 16 mil. Pero eso solamente es una especulación. Well, Machu Picchu, Perú, the Latin American countries are so beautiful by diversity of flora and fauna. And I wish, I hope, after the pandemic is over. But I should thank pandemic. Because of the pandemic, we could all come together, very important people. They could come together. And so my question is, this is another beautiful species, uh, well, endemic to Peru. This species is a name. I mean, I mean if you can look, look at it very carefully. Las vacas, pero siempre tenemos so una sola by... especie, que es el tres martos ornados. So it's pig's tackle beer. Ya no hay una población determinada. Pero para su familia, hay una población de 8 a. Yes, sir. Can I? Can I give two answers? So you're a part of the team. I know you're a very good wizard. Don't give the answers. Allow other students. Actually, these people are a quizzing team, quizzing buff. So it is the spectacle beer because when if you look at them, it looks like they are wearing a spectacle. Spectacular ladies, ladies and gentlemen. This is the paradise. When uh, Michael Bond came up with a story about a bear that happened to find himself at Paddington, his uh, first proposal was to present an African bear, but there are no bears in Africa. So somebody told him, well, come on, it's, uh, it's uh, South America, not Africa. And in South America, there's only one species. Y el único oso que hay en Perú y en Sudamérica es el oso de anteojos o el oso andino. El oso andino porque está distribuido en los Andes desde Venezuela a Bolivia. O el espectacular ver o el oso de anteojos porque tiene las marcas alrededor de los ojos como una especie de un antifaz que va a continuar el cuello y el pecho. Pero también se va a encontrar osos que no tienen las marcas, pero siempre tenemos una sola especie que es el tres martos ornados. So, I think uh, two more questions left. And it is once again such a huge privilege to be amongst this greatest of personalities. Going to the next question, another beautiful, beautiful species visiting the shores of South and Latin America. We need to protect them. It's very important. We can take the oath. Massive and majestic. It lied along Can I don't the ocean answer? floor okay. without disturbing a single grain of sand. Do we think 
we are more, more beautiful than this species we are probably the ugliest species we kill for no rhyme and reason probably we don't have the right to exist and all the people here coming together we can take a oath a vow let us protect our environment for the future of those young people if they don't exist we don't exist one small virus has shown it kishor kumar sir such a brave village to the last question i'd acknowledge my gratitude to all all through the corners of the globe everybody watching facebook live and uh, um, maristika now i realize where the name came from and also dokhin dinajpur quiz association what are el que está poniendo eso thank you sir sir the last question coming up but this is a dedicate this is a dedication question to one of the greatest uh, conservationist will watch the entire video and will try to understand his our message your friend rajiv sanyal stories 5525095 zero nine five five zero nine five five zero nine five five zero nine five five we are constantly being bombarded by problems that we face and sometimes we can get completely overwhelmed the story of the hummingbird is about this huge forest being consumed by a fire all the animals in the forest come out and they are transfixed as they watch the forest burning and they feel very overwhelmed very powerless except this little hummingbird it says i'm going to do something about the fire so it flies to the nearest stream takes a drop of water and it puts it on the fire and goes up and down up and down up and down as fast as it can in the meantime all the other animals much bigger animals like the elephant with a big trunk could bring much more water they are standing there helpless and they are saying to the hummingbird What do you think you can do? You too little. This fire is too big. Your wings are too little. And your beak so small you can only bring a small drop of water at a time. But as they continue to discourage it, it turns to them without wasting any time and tells them, "I am doing the best I can." And that to me is what all of us should do. We should always feel like a hummingbird. I may feel insignificant, but I certainly don't want to be like the animals watching as the planet goes down the drain. I will be a hummingbird. I will do the best I can. So, we need to become the hummingbirds whatever small endeavor we can do. And it's my absolute privilege to have uh, all greatest personalities from all around the globe. So who is this great conservationist? Wangari Mathai. Wangari Mathai is a brilliant dancer. Uh, Arpan you answered who answered this? Um, I wanted to say I, that, I wanted to say that the story is about survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest? <laughs> yes it is. Thank you Arpan. So uh, it is the, it is Wangari Mathai. So that was the last question of the quiz and I think sir is there We come to the end of the quiz
quiz and over to you sir uh, probably i was supposed to give the vote of thanks but uh, going back to you and if anybody has anything to comment i'll uh, be accepting it with all humility before go to the vote of thanks dibo juti sir cuando el condor pasa yeah. yes sir yes ma'am that is there something to say please okay if anyone has something to say then it will be fantastic de america del sur es la canción y se llama cuando el cuando el cóndor pasa thank you and also i'd like to acknowledge my gratitude uh, because madam apula chakraborty she is a great educationist national award winning teacher had joined us thank you ma'am for joining my brother joseph jimenez from america has joined thank you so much so i think uh, we uh, like to go to dipo jyoti sir before uh, if anybody has anything to say okay sir can i speak i am kishor yeah, kishor kumar sir please thank you sir it was a wonderful wonderful time here uh, with you to be a part of this presentation Thank and you, i am very surprised and feel proud to be a part of this because of my students who had uh, who have been doing wonderful job for the last 4 years in hosting miristika such a yes sir the biggest you are the champion sir you are the champion you have guided them <laughs> yeah. yes sir and i feel proud that my students jitin uh, vijayan and adila fariza they made it a great success and now it is internationally acknowledged and uh, i am very much happy to still uh, i mean uh, very much happy to see that jidan is again in the background uh, hosting this thing supporting you and i thank oh, them sorry. i congratulate them and you for promoting them thank you very much sir thank you so much sir k kushor kumar sir we have the privilege to meet him by conducting the quiz for uh, Kunnur Kandal project Apollo Tires for the last three years. He's a wonderful host, a great personality. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. And a little one wants to say something. Yes, sir. I would want to tell a big thank you to you for organizing this quiz, and I'm waiting <laughs> forward for this 14th of June, and to and also to the Bhujati sir and everyone, <laughs> and to His or Her Excellency too. <laughs> oh, love you, love you, beta. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And Dipoji, this sir, can you please take up now before we finally? Sir, your mic is off. Yeah. Uh, uh, can can we come out of the slide sharing so that we can see each other? Oh yes, yes. Acha 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 acha. Yes, stop sharing. Yeah. Yes, yes sir. Sharing. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, before before we conclude. Uh, i must say on behalf of all the organizers uh, thank you very much your excellencies the diplomatic uh, our friends from the diplomatic missions uh, and friends from different parts of india from different districts of uh, bengal and uh, thank you very much and if you have any suggestions to make so that we can do betterment in the futures and we would like to collaborate with the embassies to promote uh, knowledge between india and the latin american countries we it will be our because we are here to connect the two ends because i know how much distance is india with the latin america and with the spain with the hispanic countries so we accept we will be glad if we can have your suggestions your proposals and of course i time to time will be disturbing the ambassadors and the other diplomatic friends <laughs> to do a lot of activities a lot of activities and thank you very much and uh, we, we are all hope we all hope that uh, in 14 we'll have more interesting quiz so i invite you all to join us on 14th same time it's a sunday le invito a todos el 14 Uh, un domingo a la misma hora para estar para ver más preguntas interesantes porque es la primera vez tenemos un quiz sobre América Latina y le invito a todos muchas gracias 
Muchas Bye, gracias. thank you so much. Bueno. Muchas gracias, saludos a todos. Bueno, gracias. Muchas gracias, saludos a todos, feliz noche. Y feliz día. Feliz día para Latinoamérica y feliz día para noches. India. Bye. Adiós. Bye. Adiós. Hasta luego. Muchas gracias. Saludos desde Quilotepec, México. Bueno, gracias. Muchas gracias. Adiós. Gracias. Adiós. We, we end here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.